The thoughts and opinions expressed during this broadcast are for entertainment purposes only. They are not facts. Now enjoy the show. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? It's the Not Impressed Podcast, episode 47. It's your boy, Kingswood. For peace sake. And we got a very special guest in here tonight. I mean, this guy has touched a lot of music. This guy's a crazy artist. I mean, I just had him master some songs for me when it comes to production, yeah. singing. I mean, this guy whoop out a guitar. Do not let him in front of your girl if he brings a guitar. <laughs> That's rule number one. But we got the sure. real infamous Danny Zico in the house today. You feel yes, me? Clap it up for my boy. You what's feel up, me in the up? crib? Big you know Danny I mean? Zico. Yep, yep, yep. He's, he's all dripped out right now. You know what I'm saying? AK How you guys Zico. doing today? How you guys doing? You know, he's got a he's got a song he just dropped on Friday. What's the song called? It's called Would You Still L U V Me? Would you, you still, still love, love me? me? You know what I'm saying? Would you, would you, would you still love me? It's a great song, man. Everybody go check that. I want everybody right now to go to Apple, Spotify, whatever it's you're listening to music creative. on. Go search that right now. Would You Still Love Me by Danny Zico. Go get that. Go to this guy's Instagram, Danny Zico. Also, if you're an artist or, you know, you just like music in general, you know, check him out. Room Z Studios, Room Z Recordings. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? The, room, right. yeah, the Room Z LA on Instagram. Go, go book with my boy. He's crazy. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Danny underscore Zico on Instagram, too. And we got a very special, very special episode for you guys. Because oh, my yeah. boy today, he's going to acoustically perform. Oh, his yes. latest single. His latest gonna single. Go crazy. Yeah. And I swear he literally said 10 minutes ago that he didn't even know how to play it on the guitar. <laughs> and then learned it. And then he learned it. And I'm uh, fuck it up after this and, amazing intro. Yeah, he's amazing. <laughs> he got a lot, of, a lot of pressure. No, but I, I'm not even down him at all. He's up for it. You know what I mean? He so, said, we don't edit this. It's just one shot. We're not man. editing nothing. We could, but <laughs> we're not going to have to. But we're not going to have to because I'm telling you, man, this guy goes crazy and I start wanting to sing with him. You know what I'm saying? He'll sing about anything. Like we go to the store and get some food and he's like, I need some bananas. <laughs> Maybe some apples. You know what I'm saying? But he's going to do a uh, Would You Still Love Me real quick acoustically. You feel me? Everybody just enjoy this and uh, let's check it out. If I told you who I was, would you still love me then? I think we got it backwards. backwards. That's why we can't be friends. Can't be that's why we can't be friends I know on my part it might be a little selfish But at least I recognize it I'm used to scan this shit My pride I'll swallow it Everything I said I meant it For you I changed Showed you my true intentions But now I know my place So you don't have to question it Say the all night it was just you and I, stars in the sky, witnessing how we would shine. I feel it most when I'm on the road. It's not enough to hear your voice on the phone, but I know that I gotta leave you alone. Whoa, I know that we could never work. Rather dance by myself than get hurt. Right. Hey, fire, Danny Zico, fire! Yes, Would you still love me? That was amazing. Hey, and he dropped uh, the the actual music video. Oh yeah, yes, no, he's gonna yes, drop it. He's gonna, he, be gonna drop it. It's on it, premiere. It just dropped today. Actually, uh, when yeah, I clicked on it, said premiere at, at two p.m. Oh, at 2 okay, two p.m. Yeah. It just yeah, dropped today. It just you know, dropped. we're recording yeah. this on Sunday, so go check that out. The earthquake though. That was that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go check that out. And a very good song that I like from him. One of my favorite songs, "Getting Old" by Danny Zico. Go check that shit out. It's a hit record amazing. right there for that's sure. That's a, it should have getting a Grammy. Old. Yeah, that's amazing. We can, we this is getting old. can we get that? We're just going to have a whole episode <laughs> of him just before. We we get, get a couple of covers. You know what I'm saying? Can we get that one too? No, nah, but shout out him. Man. All I'm going to say though, that was a beautiful song. Thank Do you, not copyright you. us, Danny Zico. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take, take all the views. Take this episode down. That's so. crazy. He's going to take our shit down, no, man. That's just fire. That's just fire. Shout out Danny Zico. And clap it up, Danny Zico out there. You feel me? But, you know, since we're getting into it, we're not going to make this a full interview, you know what I'm saying? But we do want to kind of get into a little bit of your backstory, you know, yeah, where you come from, sure. just so the people, you know. Definitely, yeah. You guys know us, you know, so, you yeah. know, let's get to know you and stuff. You're from the Valley, right? Yeah, I'm from the Valley. Actually, I, I grew up actually in in in, in, uh, in kind of around here in this okay. neighborhood, not too far from here. That's crazy. Uh, mm. Not to give away the yeah, location. Yeah, don't dox me. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the heart of the Valley. Yeah, but, for uh, sure. Fun fact, he's actually been knowing Peter for a long time. How long have you guys known each other? Shit. 
I want to say since like 09 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. 09. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something 14 like years, that. that's a good amount Definitely of time. Teenagers. But what's funny is that he like kind of lived across the street or like down the street yeah, for a long time. I, I lived around, yeah, well, I'm not going to... Yeah, yeah, we're not going to well, say exactly well, yeah. where. Well, I, we don't live there now, but, yeah. so, but we lived in Sepulveda and Vanoa for, yeah. for a good yeah. minute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah, but that was next back to the, the hospital day. and shit. But, you got um, any embarrassing stories about Peter? Just put him out there. <laughs> Not really. No, no. Not Damn. really. He always held his own. Yeah. Next yeah. time. Next time. Next Not time. Not really. No time. embarrassing no. stories. Not that I can think. You I don't can't... got no Danny ones. No. Oh, he's no. probably got. <laughs> <laughs> <There's> like... <laughs> no. Nah. nah. <laughs> I believe we're both like I'm they're, the they're, good the they're good homies. 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 Well, there was this one time. Nah, nah, he gave me homies. like three blinks and like a left and a right look. Yo, like... yo, is that? No, let me ask you this question though. Would you rather, since you guys are boys, it kind of just brought this to my, my mind, you know what I'm saying? Since you guys are boys, would you rather... Here we go. Would you rather <laughs> snitch on your boy or cheat on your girl? Damn. Which one would you I'm, rather do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. For the record, we all know, know this is answer. hypothetical. I already know the answer. For the record, this is hypothetical. We're not answer. saying he has to, there's no, he doesn't have to choose. I already know the answer. So I nobody get mad at the hypothetical. Know, I already, would I rather? I know you think. Yeah, I, would you rather? I know you think. <laughs> I know, I know you know. I know you know the answer too. But I would, yeah. I would definitely, I would have. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> have but I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cheat. I'm gonna have to cheat. It's because, a hypothetical. Only because, it's a hypothetical. Only because I'm cheating for a good cause. Exactly. You know. Yeah. This is for you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> this is for you. Baby. This, well, it's, well, it's for this the homie. My bro. This is for my bro. I don't love her. I don't love her. freedom. This is for freedom. This is for you, homie. This is a year off. This is a year off. Every time is a year off. <laughs> what about you, Peter? What you gonna do? I'm cheating, dog. You're cheating for sure. You have to think about that. Yeah, one. He's, like, <laughs> he's like, I'll cheat anyway. No, I just, I just, like, he said, I just got here from cheating. Shit. Right. I got, there's a reason. Shit. I'll take a bird bath uh, in the bathroom. Nah, real quick, real quick. I ain't going, nah. Um, he coming back dirty. <laughs> oh, no, we, we jumped a little bit though, because I like we said, okay, where are you from? Mm -hmm. But I want to know what got you into music or like, okay, what no, is the yeah, start of that? okay, so yes, fuck to follow that up. Yes, we, I grew up here in the heart of the valley with uh, I grew up in a Peruvian family. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm the first born to be, or like the first of my generation to be born here in the states. So, you know, my mom, my grandma, they're all from Peru. Um, specifically from Cusco and uh, so, like everyone in my family either like sings or like that's dope you know dances or, or plays an instrument gotcha. or, like there's very very arts we have kind of like a very artsy like background yeah, that's dope. like growing up um, we would get together like you know how families get together we would always get together and like there would be no TV ever no, no TV ever that's it'd dope. just be radio? it would be no not even no radio just niggas playing music it would, just be, be, music. Be, live Bro, it would be live instruments church be, choir yeah. my, just, my, it would be that's tight it would be my my uncle my, my tío Pancho on the guitar it would be um, it would be me like on sometimes I'd be on the drum and I'd sing. I say he's my, like my mom would be She's singing. Like, this nigga look like a uh, ass nigga. xylophone type nigga. Who I feel like, like my cousins like someone one of them would play the flute or something like that. Like, oh shit! Yeah, it was a, it was cool. Yeah, so you guys like would just be like like doing improv type shit or like... we would like practice songs like you know okay. like songs that That's like it, my mom would probably my mom was and my uncle would choose his songs. It'd be like your song, mom was it would be in, songs from like music too or she she would sing she would sing yeah. My bad. That's was it? That's, what what yeah, did bro. I eat earlier? Jesus Christ! Empanadas, <laughs> empanadas. Oh, yeah, empanadas. That chimichurri. Mm -hmm. Chimichurri for sure, for sure. <laughs> no, so, uh, that's that's, that's crazy though. That's, that's, that's dope. dope. That's dope. That's yeah. So yeah. No. So I, it's I always had like a musical background growing up. Uh, we always had like a piano in my house. Like I mm -hmm. remember, since I was like nine years old. So I used to like mess around with that, and it like really helped me with. So I get now I look back and like it really helped me with songwriting, because I can just go in and like songwrite, break anything down. To like the chords and that really helps me yeah, like no, song, for sure. navigate the this, song. This guy trips me out. He pulls out the little keyboard all the time to like. No, that's why he just puts the keyboard, finds a note, and then he starts playing it. And that's why I'm saying like, it look, he makes a lot of sense when you say yeah. some shit like that. Like, yeah. I didn't come from a family like that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. even when like it wasn't like with family, like when I would uh, instead of watching TV, I would like because I would I wouldn't really watch. I feel like I watch more TV now as a, as an adult. Mm -hmm. But back then, instead of watching TV, I would sit in front of these giant speakers that my brother had. My brother was like 11 years older. So I would be there like six years old, seven years old. And my brother, he's a teenager. He'd have these giant speakers, a DJ setup, 
it was like that era, you know, I'm like sorry. in the night. It was like the mid '90s, you mm -hmm. know. So yeah. it was that era of just like a lot of bass, oh, yeah. like the uh, raves in the desert type type era. Yeah, like sure. so, the, my first records I remember hearing them. I would sit in front of the speaker and I would just like listen to to a whole record, like uh, the whole Nirvana Nevermind record. I'd yeah. hear that whole thing, and then I'd be like, damn. And I'd try to replay it, and I'd try to grab the guitar, I'd try to like replay like the lead guitar, the lead like vocal, gotcha. things like that. Yeah, or like uh, another record was like uh, the Metallica record. Um, was that Ent uh, the one Enter the Sandman? What is it? Mm. The Black Album. The Black Album. Yeah, the Black Album. <clears throat> the Black Album was one of those. Um, the Cypress Hill. The uh, the Black Sunday was it Black Sunday? The Cyp that like so it was like I would just sit there and just study that you mm -hmm. know and like you just be listening to was, that just playing that shit yeah it, and that but was like did, that was did, fun for me you know how did just, transition transition into like production though and stuff like or did you start with like you say you start with just playing interest, instruments and stuff but like when you get into music are you like oh I want to be in, in a producer or what is it or is I I, wanna be I think everything. it was like when the the production started when I was like it was around two thousand and three I'm gonna give my age away mm -hmm. but it was around two thousand and three I was like. I was like 13 and um, I I really wanted to make beats. And I told my brother, my brother's old. He was probably like, what, like at that time, like 24. And uh, he, so he, he downloaded, he pirated Fruit Loops. It was like uh, uh, FL3. Fru it was Fruit Loops version three back then. It was then. like Fruit Loops. Yeah. yeah. Back in the day. Not way FL, way sure. back. That's the original. <laughs> yeah. So I just started <laughs> making beats on there. But I remember what was on the radio back then. It was like... uh. Damn, it was like a lot of West Coast stuff was on the radio. A lot of like the gangster stuff was like on the radio. Oh three. Yeah, back in the day, like it was like the end of it, but it was still like it was still like on the radio. It was like a big influence. Hell yeah! I remember growing up, like Pac was a big influence. You know, of course. Yeah. For uh, sure. You know the whole Pac B. I remember like when the game came out. Even before the album came out, we had already had we had me and the homie. Me and shout out the homie Will Santos from Gold Mines. Me and him, we lived on the same block, and we and we would make music together back in the day. Mm -hmm. So so we and that's how I started making beats, cause really, cause he wanted to rap. Mm. So he okay. was like, "We need beats." I was like, and I was like, "All right, I want to rap too." You know, I remember to get me to make beats, he made up this this phony ass story about how my uh my this girl that I liked, someone said like she liked music and shit. No, someone someone that he knew that knew that I liked her said that oh like. Uh, some shit I don't know. So just diss me, diss my girl. I don't know some shit. Oh, they're talking shit about your girl. Yeah. That's basically he was like basically he made up a story about how someone's talking shit about my girl. So we can make and, a diss track. So I shit. could make a diss track. So <laughs> I could get to making a beat. That was the whole story. I was, and he didn't tell me till years after. And I, I was crazy. I didn't put two and two together until years. Nigga diss the fuck out of her. You yeah. little funky cock bitch. <laughs> cock cock. Uh, it was like it's crazy, right? <laughs> like, like, she was all started because of like, like, I started because of a girl. She's like I didn't say nothing. You come for me. Hey, sometimes like like the whole thing with like. Like you says all starts with a girl and shit. Sometimes the best music is made because of no, it's such a fact. It's that real but, emotion, yeah, you know that real emotion. Nothing ties you in besides you feeling like, anybody. They, they strung you along just off yeah. of that, you know what I'm saying? No, like, you're like, sure. all right, I gotta get on there. Now. Even the hardest nigga in the world been in love with a girl one time that broke his heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it makes a love song out but of it. After, sure. after that, I fell in love with the with making beats. It was fun. Like I started yeah. started to make beats. Started like just working things out a little bit more, and then. um yeah, and then uh, started kind of like putting my vocals on stuff. I remember the first time I put, I got, I had, I heard my vote. We heard our vocals on CD because back then it was CDs. Yeah, there are these round things for us. <laughs> <laughs> People you, don't put, know. you would put them. Silver. <laughs> there was a slot, and then you would put the CD like a little mini record. <laughs> he used to skip if you scratched the fuck yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but if you, but you had to, you'd have to you buff one. it out. The one anti, you had, I had, I had the anti skip. You pay mm -hmm. a little bit more, but you know. Mm -hmm. so you I got had money, but I didn't pay for it. You got money. <laughs> So I just remember like, stealing the blank CDs shit. from my ancestor. Yeah. I was talking about the CD player and Yo, shit. But the oh, first time sure. I heard my vocals on the CD, though, we thought we had made it. And it was so trash. Yeah. Like, it's, the, it's always like that. Like, it was like, so trash. It's always like that. You, like, what we were saying was so, like, what was it? Bro, some of the beats, early beats, too, you're just like, this is the shit. You listen back, it's like, boom, clap, boom, clap. You're like, <laughs> no, <for sure. laughs> this is ass. <laughs> when you made it, it was hard. Huh? <laughs> Yo, when you made it, it was the best shit. That is the truth, for real. for real. And sometimes now what happens is I'll make a beat and I'm like, oh, that's all right. And then I'll just like leave it alone. And then I'll come back months later like, what the fuck? This is crazy. No, I literally do that with that like most of my songs yeah. where it's like, I'll make it. I don't like it that night. 
I go to yeah. sleep either the next day or like the next week. I play that shit. I'm like, this isn't that shit hard. the whole ride to work? <laughs> yeah. Like over and over. Like, times, this shit times, hard. Yeah. What the I fuck? work with a few producers. I feel like, especially my, shout out my boy Kaiser. I work with him mainly, and I feel like that drives him insane because he'll send me a beat and he'll want like an instant like thing. Sometimes yeah. I do instantly send it back. But a lot I of think times, you guys make the kind of like you guys are a really good connection, bro. As far as music goes, yeah, like thank, those. thank you, man. He's he's fucking he's a beast, bro. I give him a lot of we we all we do is talk shit to each other, but yeah, that's what you do with your best friends. Yeah, I was gonna you know? say, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like you guys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking shit this whole time, talking shit the whole day already. <laughs> hey, but um, no, for sure, I definitely love getting into the backstory and shit. But I don't want to make it a full interview. We could definitely do another episode. Where we do like a full interview and shit. But I definitely wanted to shoot the shit with you guys. You know what I mean? Danny Zico, besides being a very artistic guy, he's fucking hilarious. I've only known this nigga a couple times, like for a, a short amount of time. Yeah. But every time this motherfucker talking shit, clowning on me, we clowning about <laughs> something. I've only like literally the first three times I met this nigga. Somehow Are we started shooting, on, shooting each on each other about some type of shit. It's too easy. And, 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 then, then, like, and, then, and then they have like a, a basketball rivalry oh, and yeah. shit now. Like, two and oh, baby, two and oh, two okay, and oh. Relax. But I let you. But hey, for the real. Hey, but I seen you put he's up. Actually, a, he's actually not. You know what it is? He surprises me with the outside because when we were practicing. He is not making the outside missing shot. Everything. He's missing. I feel like he and he shoots funny as hell. <laughs> but you, see, you see his Cut form. His the form is not the best. His form is. I beat his ass. Fuck you. Fuck his, you I didn't beat, beat you. my ass, bro. You didn't beat my. His ass, form is not bro. conventional. Let's to say the it's least. It's not conventional. It's like a little yeah. flick. Okay. You know okay. Yeah. Maybe I didn't beat your you ass. You didn't but beat my ass, bro. Calm down. We got to play another one. Yeah. And I told you this time was Did only shots outside. No. No. Only outside shots. Okay. That's how we played. Well, he was making some crazy ass layups. Because, I mean, if I go to the rack, it's like hey, I'm about to dunk on you and We shit. haven't mentioned it yet, but let's not forget we're in a motherfucking hurricane right now. I know. Hurricane I know. Hillary. Shout out Hurricane Hillary. Shout out Hillary. You know what I mean? Jazzy Jeff, all that. The first I, I had a Google. Did they name this shit after Hillary Clinton? Did like, they say I, who they named it after or no? It wasn't after Hillary Clinton. Why do they always name it after women? No, it wasn't. Is there, is there I mean, a man? That's, what, that's what I heard. At I, I, I could, Maybe I it could was. Have sworn, I could have sworn, like, I mean, I could be wrong, <laughs> but... I heard that like there, it's named after like whoever like discovers it or like forecasts uh, it or some shit. Oh, maybe that that's sense. that can make sense. Some girl named Hillary. Hey, but what about the video we were just talking about right now about the uh, Katrina was US, a bitch, man. Yeah, the U.S. winning the uh, the relay race by the girl. Oh, I believe she was from dang. Sweden, falling right before the finish. For the people who don't know, so the U.S. was uh, the women's U.S. <laughs> the women's U.S. team was uh, doing a relay race, and I I think it was between U.S. and Sweden at the end. And right before the end, Sweden's in the front, and the girl trips. Right before the finish line. Smacks her face. Smacks her face, Terrible. and the U.S. wins. The U.S. does not come back to help her. They don't, they don't, you okay, girl? No, they just get together, kind of They were kind of dapping each other, laughing. They were like, fuck it. They were laughing. They, they were tried to keep it low, like, though. But yeah, they, they were like... like <laughs> <laughs> they were like, also shit, shit, like, you know what I mean? Like... Uh, they were trying to they were trying to keep it low key, but they couldn't contain their laughter. You guys played some sports like growing up and shit too. Right? I know you did. Did you? Yeah, I played. You guys ever basketball. had a moment where you lost a game like that, or you lost them? Man, I had. And a, it was your fault. I had a crazy moment where it was one of those moments where, like the the shot clock sounded. Oh. And I thought it was the end of the game. Like it sounded just like the end of the because it was right by like it was like counting down to the last seconds right of the uh. game. So I thought it was like oh the game's over. I just heard that. And it wasn't. Then you still had time. And I just threw the ball out. Oh. I threw the ball. My coach lost his shit. Yeah, and crazy. it was a close game, bro. And I just, oh, fuck. You know, I thought the game's, the quarter's done. So I just threw the ball. And it was through. Like, what are you? Everyone just like, what? The whole, everyone exploded. Damn. And I'm like, oh, my God. What the You're fuck like did I do? You're like a J.R. Smith. He benched the shit out of me. The I had one like that. He benched I, me for the next game for doing that. I think yeah, I might have yeah. told this one, but I had one like that. It was the one year I played basketball. I played basketball at Silmar Park. So I was on the Pacers. I'm balling up. Point guard. I didn't think I was that good. I've never been, like, I've never actually played basketball or practiced playing basketball. Like, but they made me the point guard. So looking back now, I'm like, I <laughs> had to have been all right if I'm the point guard against all these niggas with plates and their kids and shit. And so what happened was at the end of the game, they're up by one. I block the nigga. Then I run fast break down the line. I'm smashing. There's like seven seconds left. Countdown type shit. I get down there wide open. But I couldn't control my body and, like, my layup at the time. So I fucking running so fast that when I went to lay it up, that shit bounced off the backboard crazy, nigga. Like, you, like, just... Like, because, like, the speed of me, you got to slow down at the end. I didn't know <laughs> I, that at I the time. I a few of those. I, I didn't know at the time. So I just running full speed. 
That's the worst one, though. That's the worst one. Bro, it was hard. That's not that. That's not that. How old were you? I was like 11, 12, and it was the first sport I ever played. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was a cha- it was to go to the championship. And oh, shit. Yeah, 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 it was an important game. I never had an important game. I never had nothing happen like that, but I definitely cried when we lost the playoffs, bro. In what? Pop Warner? Football, yeah. Yeah, for sure. What team were you on? Trojans, East Valley. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. You, everybody's on like the Bears, the Braves. Or... Uh, I just play high play school. school. Oh, and YMCA like tips. Uh, yeah, for sure. But yeah, we're, should me and the whole team over there balling like babies. Crying and like shit. babies, like life was over and shit. For Niggas sure. just lost the fucking sure. NFL, midget, midget football. The Super Bowl and shit. <laughs> It's over. I'm not going to college. I'm hey, not. we felt like we got cheated though, man. Like, I don't even want the snacks. You always feel like you got cheated though, no matter what. Like that one play. I was like, fuck your oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, Jerry brought snacks today. Like, Healthy snacks. <laughs> Where are the chips? Well, 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 the probably went there. Give me your shit. <laughs> <laughs> All mad at the end. You got two bags and shit. You fucked up on the line, bitch. <laughs> and they always got that one kid that's like waiting on every. Oh, everyone got one? And they yeah, just you get <laughs> take everything. <laughs> they his take family waiting. This shit. <laughs> yeah. His family waiting for the extras. That, that parent, that parent sneaky one in. Oh no, no everybody sure. got one, right? I'm gonna be one of them parents. Like, let I'm me get that. Extra I'm one. You know how fucked up it was though. Like we were playing football, bro. Me, my cousins, and shit. And Junior wanted to play football and shit, but we didn't have no money. Like we got sponsors to play football. Like they, they fucking like paid for us to play. And then he he couldn't play and shit, but that nigga would go over there. He wanted to get in full pads. He'll start practicing and everything. Nah, on the just to practice to do some. Yeah. Who would? Jude, my brother. Oh no. And he cracked the quarterback for him, and they got all he was, So he wasn't on the team. He wasn't on the team. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. And they let him play, too? <laughs> no, but you just be on the sideline and shit. Like, <laughs> this nigga yeah, just yeah, warming up. He was like a water boy. <laughs> no, really, up, how, were, how were you? Uh, I was like, this was like midget year, so I was like 14. This nigga 14. just wanted to feel a part of it. like. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> Jumping up and down on the side and shit. 14 is a that's, funny age. Yeah, that's funny as fuck. My son's 14. He's been balling too. Yeah, he's balling, balling out of control. Nigga's he's, taller than you, Nana. Yeah, I was talking to the homie, and he's a uh, no, he's not taller than me. But <laughs> <laughs> almost, not, almost, almost. He's but, been balling though. Yeah, no, I was talking to the homie. I was, he's all like, "Damn, he's got some skills." Cause I shared something about him. He's like, "Oh yeah," and I'm like, "Yeah, man, he's almost as good as me." And he's like, "Nah, come on, don't cap. He's already better than you." Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, I, and then you I was like, admit it, huh? You're "Yeah," like, I was like, and it was during that time where like, you know, what? I had to take take a second to recognize. That my son has been putting in a lot of work, and he's way more disciplined than I was That's at fourteen. At the time. You know, we were on some whole other shit. We were on some whole. I was not disciplined. We're down to hit very the block. We were down to smoke some weed. Yeah. We were down to yeah. That's just, like when you're playing sports. When you're playing sports, like you didn't really think of it like, oh, I gotta be in here every fucking day training. I know I didn't. I didn't think. You know about what's that. crazy? He... I was like, oh, we go play football. No, in wrestling. We... I was taking uh, fucking shortcuts and shit. We would go through the wash. Some of us would cut through the wash because these niggas we'd literally have to run to uh, Olive View Hospital, which is probably like two miles away. Run up, run up the mountain, run back, and then uh, weight lift, and then start practice. So what? Did you talk about veterans? Veterans? Uh, no, Olive View Hospital. So mm-hmm. veterans is one. Sometimes we would run up to veterans because you run up that hill yeah. and then run back down, or we'd go to Olive View Hospital and there's a trail behind it. Uh, is that steeper than veterans? Uh, it's not as steep. The beginning is steep, but it's veterans a full trail. Is, is an, and we is wouldn't if we went to veterans, we wouldn't go the whole way up. We would just, just go. go to Olive View Hospital, jump on the fucking cart and shit. Nah, no, but I would come, come through the, the wash, and the wash would just get you straight to the hospital type shit. I did that shit a couple times. And mm-hmm. mind you, see, at the time, I'm not thinking anything about it. I'm just taking these shortcuts. But like, I took second in city that year, mm-hmm. and it was like my first year playing sports. So, well, like high school sports. That's the good. only other year was, was wrestling, basketball. Wrestling, right? Yeah, so. Imagine, looking back at it, imagine I wouldn't have took them shortcuts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Imagine I would have really been disciplined. I would have took first. Yeah, yeah. I would have went to state. We're all just a bunch of dudes <laughs> you know, smoking like weed, the- talking about like, <laughs> man, if I would have. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about Bunny. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> reliving that one I'm time. I'm the one if they would have passed it to <laughs> me. Yo. We would have won the state championship. <laughs> no, no, no. If it wasn't for that one bitch. <laughs> No, 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 it's not like that. It's it's not like that. I'm not pregnant. You know, I'm I'm a firm believer that, you know, what happens in life happens. You can't just keep dwelling on it. It just just molds you for everything else. But but I'm just saying in comparison to like your son. No, but we were different. Yo, uh, what trips me out, touching back to that, is that he has on his wall, he wrote this. I don't like he just he's just doing his own thing because like, you know, I've taught him enough about life. I still, you know, we still always, he's always learning. I'm learning too, you know. We, yeah, for sure. We're all learning. But we gotta always be learning. He has this thing on his wall that he wrote. It says, uh, I deserve the consequences of my actions. And he has it on his wall. 
just mm. posted it, posted like that. Fourteen years old. That's dope. And That's I read smart. that. I read that. I'm like, you wrote that? He's like, yeah, I wrote that. I like it's like terrible handwriting. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. He's like, I'm like, why you wrote that? Why you write that? Why you wrote that? Why you wrote that, son? <laughs> why you write that? <laughs> why, you, why you wrote that, son? <laughs> this thing, this all shit, He's not educated. And she's like, why you wrote that, son? <laughs> that's how, funny. How'd you learn how to roll? <laughs> Who be teaching oh, me things? Why you drinking, drinking a beer and shit? Why you drinking a beer? Who teach you how to roll? <laughs> Who teach you how to roll like that, son? <laughs> <laughs> and I told buddy right that he's like, it's just to remind me, you know, like you just to remind me that for I real, like my work, I have to put in work. Like I'm, I'm responsible for what I do. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, more power to you, bro. Give me a hug. Oh, yeah. And it's crazy. And when you say we are still learning, it's hella true. Like it's something that we know, but sometimes you need that refresher. You need to put it in other words or think about some, something, something like that can teach you. Like just the other day, I was just talking about like, uh, it was me and my boy. We were talking about you pay tomorrow's, tomorrow's consequences that you pay are from today's actions. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you do today, you're going to pay for tomorrow. Whether yeah. you work out today, that's going to reflect next week or so so on and so forth. So it's crazy that at this age, at 14, he's already like, yeah, yeah. already thinking upon those same things. That you know I'm, I'm saying, thinking, I don't think I was, I'm thinking about as a grown man. I'm thinking about like, yeah, yeah. you know Yo, I'm, I'm, in, I'm barely like in my 30s now, just like figuring, shit, fi- like figuring things out that I feel like he's figuring out now. Yeah, that's fire. So he's, he's got like that. You know that little leg up. The younger generation is enlightened, though, bro. No, like, for sure. It's and you take for... responsibility from that too, because you just, it's also from the things you're teaching him. You know what I'm saying? Like he's yeah. picking up that energy. I mean, yeah, he sees your work ethic. I'm you, sure. You know what I'm saying it's the inform. It's the, like the information era. No, for sure. And I'm sure no, for and sure. I'm sure he does, and I'm sure he does. Like he picks up on that. I mean, we I work every day. You know, every day is like another day to to hustle. You know, like, sure. and you work your own business, so it's different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's very different. Like, yeah. you got to force yourself to get up. I got to go to work and clock in. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Yeah. You got to make yourself clock in. You yeah, when I first started, I'm like, I'm open all the time. You know, like, when I first started started the studio. And, crazy, I had yeah. it, and it, and it kind of, like, was throwing me off because then somebody would book at, like, 2 in the morning. And then somebody would be like, oh, I'm, I'm in... I'm in there at nine in the morning the next day. Yeah, for sure. So I'd be like leaving at like six in the morning to be there at nine in the morning. You know, it's like it was just throwing my whole sky. So I had to get Figure some closing. I had too. to do some closing closing time. Mm-hmm. I had like, okay, I, I'm not booking any Man, more you sessions. Went, you went straight like fucking. No more start times. Four hours. Yeah, no more start times after this time. You know, like, <laughs> start time. Sometimes I'll make exceptions, like you know, if if, it's if the I can't fit it in. Like, you're, you're yeah, not if, I, if I can't fit it, if it's a slow week, I don't have nothing tomorrow. Like, yeah, why not? Like, let's do it. Like. Yeah. Why not? What do you think some of the challenges that like you know having this business has been? Bro? Like, what's one of the biggest challenges? The biggest challenges is just, uh, I think, just not learning how to not rely on anybody. Like, learning that you shouldn't expect anything from anyone, and you should probably expect the worst sometimes, maybe. Because mm. if you expect the best, then like, and they don't like meet your standards, because you would do something if you were in their shoes, like you know. Yeah. Or, you know, it's just it kind of put it kind of fucks yourself up. Yeah, it's just keep managing uh working with different people, you know, uh, d- different egos, different everyone has their different way of going about things, but yeah. at the end of the day, I could say that every most people like 95% of the people that come to the studio are like amazing, like yeah. have a great work ethic. You ain't get none of those people like ESG just walking out. Fuck you! I don't like what you're doing here. Tuck. <laughs> no, I've never gotten that. No, I've never gotten that. Like I would say, maybe sometimes people complain when I first, when maybe like when I first opened and I, I didn't have like an AC. Oh yeah. Or like when my it's ACs, but yeah. only that only thing. It gets no, because I mean, I'm saying as an engineer though, like I mean, I know I dealt with it when I was doing the engineering shit. Like niggas just be like, hurry up! Like fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, go well, yeah. For starting off, yeah, you know for what I'm sure. Saying? Like, you like, like kind of like they get all really Hollywood on your ass and shit sometimes. Yeah, no, I've been in sessions where like it it can get like very tense and awkward. Mm-hmm. But those are like, that's more like the high profile clientele. Gotcha. But you kind of have to just not learn how to not be explosive in those situations and just kind of diffuse whatever. Like, okay, just under like you're not here for egos, so just like. Put that aside and just get to what the fuck he wants. So let's put his tone and his like attitude aside. And let me and like let me listen off. to like okay, you want this? Okay, how's that? And then try to just get him what he wants. But that, so I think that's why maybe no one's ever really walked out because I'm just trying to give people like you know what they what they're trying to like what they envision service. you know yeah, yeah. in their mind. And you know you mentioned like not expecting from nothing from somebody and shit. It's like. 
with any, any business is kind of like that, you know, like, you know, growing up, I had my own personal businesses and whatnot, you know, that I went through and shit, you know, and it's like, sometimes you expect somebody to come, let's say somebody books a, books a session and you're expecting, oh, I'm about to make 300. Again, you have your own business, you know, you're not counting on no check, you're counting on what you're working on. And you set away time, you already got the session ready or you already got the product ready, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then they end up flaking. Yeah. And it's kind of like, that 300 is gone. Yeah, those are yeah. those are the worst because it's like the call, no call, no shows are like the worst because that's some time that I could have put aside to somebody else. Somebody no, else could have sure. booked that time. And you don't, you, you don't in that moment make that money back. And that's why when you it's said- It's just not, a total loss. Not expecting Especially anything. when I don't take really deposits a, a lot of times yeah. too. Like, because a lot of people- I've already worked with them. If it's yeah. maybe somebody new, I'll take a deposit or I'll take just a payment up front. But yeah. for someone I know that has like a flaky history. But yeah. I've only really had one time where somebody really like just went MIA, just no, like fell sure. off the edge of the planet. And like, Shit. But that's you can't really do that when you're an artist because you're constantly having to post and be present, yeah, like, yeah. you know? So you can't really, there's no like running away from your tab. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? yeah. And people like want to come back. This thing is, people like what I do uh, for them. So like, they like how they sound when they leave. They like the records. So yeah. they're gonna they're gonna not want to burn that bridge. And if they do burn that bridge, then, then they can burn them up. Yeah. And keep going. Then I don't want to work with people like that. Yeah, and like the point I was trying to make with that is basically like, and you can't dwell on that shit. Like whether it be a product keep or a moving. session or whatever, you got to keep it moving. You can't talk shit. You can't because I've seen niggas in yeah. the same line of business or you know in any mm-hmm. business and. They complain about this person, complain about that, and they waste time and dwelling on that. And it's like when you're working on your own business and you're an entrepreneur and shit like that, you literally just have to be like, fuck it, on to the next and have that mindset or else you'll literally sit there for an hour and you're just wasting yeah. more time thinking about Yeah, because you want to go full, you full like ice cube on somebody. Yeah, and be like, no, I can't yeah, waste my time. Forward, you know for sure. Like, you would waste yeah. my time. You, you know, like, to the, come in there with the you, bat and start smashing yeah. shit. Like, you got to literally move <laughs> forward know, and like, be like... Oh yeah, well, I got another one. Three hundred. <laughs> I got yeah. another session tonight. I think. I think another thing though too is like with any business, there's those, there's theft, there's overhead, there's all this type of shit that happens. So I think that might be just one of them. Yeah. I mean, like, when it comes to something like that, if you have high overhead or some, or you come into like a big business, obviously at that point you get in the invoice, nigga. We got yeah. twenty niggas working here and they're all around the I clock. I think the, how I've made it work is that I've learned how to keep my overhead like minimal. Yeah. Like yeah. I've learned how to make it so that I don't spend too much a month. To yeah. make the money that I'm making. And yeah, for sure. That includes rent. Like, even with the space that I have, that's why I sublease the space that I have. Yeah, yeah. Just so I can be able to be comf- comfortably create. Because I've been in the situation where I do ha- I have to pay all of the rent for that big space that I have and not mm-hmm. even use it. And then you can't even create and make music because you're just so worried about, like, I need to make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So then no, you can't facts. be creative. In, in that sense, so. I can't do shit if I don't got money. Yeah, for real. That's so, like you know the, you're the Snickers about money, commercial. You can't be creative. You know the Snickers commercial <laughs> when they don't have the Snickers and shit, and they're hungry and they're like, bro, "You're not yourself." So That's me when I don't got money, nigga. I'm mm-hmm. a whole different nigga. Hey, bro. but one thing we were like praise that hit me up a couple months back, bro. We should really, really do it. Is go somewhere, man. Oh yeah, for sure. What do you mean? Remember you said like 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 we need to fucking do a oh, trip like a, like, like a camp because we talk about money and shit yeah. right and like money like a writing like, camp like a like a no music just camp? something you just said let's go somewhere last like we talked about fucking going to Vegas or going oh, I'm somewhere. always down to just go travel but I, I like when I travel I always take like a little setup. But I've been wanting to do that for a minute. But he did mention that too, getting like an Airbnb and just... I love to cook up in different spaces. Some things in Airbnb for like three days, just all writing and making music. I've been wanting one over looking over the ocean for a minute, dog. Like, all right, you and Pete make a song now. You, Pete, and Danny, now Danny. And we don't necessarily have to be making music all the time, you know? No, for sure. You can just go out, enjoy stuff, come back, make music. But like going off the vibe of what you're enjoying, because that's going to create a whole different vibe, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying like... You could imagine us Airbnb in the mountain by the beach or some shit. Yeah. And you got you two made, making huh? a song, me getting on a verse, then you making a song, DG getting on a verse, then him getting a song. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. bro, the, I've the about quality that. would be crazy. Yeah, I've the, thought about that. How many does that? It's, it sounds like a great idea. Like, he 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 goes out to Big Bear and stuff. and The quality, the music the music would be insane. Like, just really, imagining the type of shit. It's been really shit. big, like, nowadays, like, the camps and stuff like yeah. that. Ill mind and be do- like doing his beat. It'll be dope to go like, like a, uh, somewhere on the island. No, like, for sure. That'd be up. crazy. Yeah. Soon to come. Soon, soon to come. come. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Soon to do it. It's, not, it's definitely doable. No, for sure. Do definitely, yeah. doable. Yeah. definitely doable. Definitely doable. Because we yeah. always talk about money. We always talk about, I mean, that shit's going to always be the, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, money. But, hey, but you the, know what? I'm, I'll, to touch back to that, I'm blessed and I'm, I'm grateful for like 
we've been going almost three years at that location or three, yeah, three years now at that location and and oh, it's yeah. like ev- everything like is now finally it's true what they say about a new business like it takes you a few years to like really be just stable you know yeah, like because yeah. those first couple of years were like damn up and down like you like don't know I don't, what's gonna I don't, happen i don't know if i had i remember thinking like am i gonna not be here should i start shutting down tearing down the walls mm-hmm. like i was already yeah. like on my way out one foot out the door yeah. and that's when i thought of like you know subleasing the space but yeah. that definitely helps oh, yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, um, I'm, I'm blessed. I can't complain, you know? It's a blessing sure. to be able to do what you love, you know? Man, look at you, bro. You dripped out. <laughs> fresh, <laughs> it's funny. Fresh Bass Pro Shops. Oh, who my, is that? Th- this is, I don't even know. My girl just like... Um, I think it's my girl's sweater, bro, honestly. And then <laughs> somebody left his hat under the couch uh, at the studio. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. nigga put it together. For real. Like, I just be finding stuff. I swear, like people be just leaving stuff or giving me stuff. The homie Jay always be putting, hey, look, I got you this. Like, Put it up and check out he just got shit. me a, a sick ass clipper hat. No, oh, yeah. I want oh, to yeah, talk about clip that gang, hat. clip gang. That. There's a hat right there. Grab that right there, Jim. <laughs> You're a clipper That's the fan? hat I was talking about. No, You're... I told you. Remember, some nigga at the arena just gave, gave me a bunch of hats. Oh, of two, okay, bro. okay. Yeah, one of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can make it work. Yeah, yeah, I gotta bend it a little music, bit. You know? We got we got some new music that came out. What's up, um, Russ? Have you heard it? Actually, he has a new album. Yep. Nah, gotta check that out. You like Russ? Yeah, he's dope. He's dope. I had. Like to be honest, when he came out, he was so dope, and he and like I was so inspired by the ability of him songwriting and like producing mixing and, and, and mixing. Massing. Like, and I was like, "Whoa, that's like kind of like what I, it's every like, song too." You'd be like, "I made everything in there." Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and it's like I was like, "It's kind of like what I do." And and yeah, when he said like "I made like when he, ca- <laughs> when, he shit. when he had to like say it again and again yeah. and like he let it know, be known, for let sure. it be known, right? So I've always like been careful about like not being too big headed and bro i feel like i feel like i feel like you and him are like you guys are like it's like almost like a parallel life that is like super well no if you have you have you guys heard any of his book or read any of his book Yeah, i read the book so in the beginning of the book that's part that's what you're gonna mention no oh well basically in the book like he talks about how uh his family is a lot like your family Oh, really? He said he came from like an Italian family, but is a he lot Peruvian? of them. No, nah, he's Italian. <laughs> which I mean, low key Italians are kind of like it's Hispanics. Like the same thing. Hispanics yeah. Yeah. No, in the way, not, <laughs> in the way that they're like close knit. They're close knit family. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, what I mean, they're they're close knit. Like Italians are very close with their families. They have dinner with their families. Hispanics, yeah. Peruvians, Mexicans. Yeah, no, I can see. I can see the. You know I can see the curl- and then correlation. The fact, yeah, and then the fact that uh, his whole family played music, and he kind of said that too. That like. That's what they would all do together is just make music and stuff like yeah. that. And he does all the board. Yeah, this will, this will remind, reminds me, like, I'm, like I'm saying, the, the whole like Russ and shit. Like, there's a couple of songs that I be hearing. I'm like, did this nigga write the song? Because like, it sounds very similar. No, there's a lot of vibes that look you like. Yeah, so when Russ came out, with when he was coming out a few years ago and he started popping off, I, I was more making like loops. <clears throat> and he made me like go back into songwriting more. Because I was like, oh, I could do like simple beats like because he's very it's very simple, min- simple, minimalistic simple. like production and yep. stuff like that and i'm not like the most intricate producer so like i feel like a lot of my stuff that i produce by myself is very like n- minimal very minimal very like mellow a lot better mm-hmm. mellow stuff but a lot of that's why i like working with kaiser because he's like the total opposite mm-hmm. and he has like a lot of I don't know, he's got that nicaraguan like rhythm he's yeah. like, he got, got a lot of percussions going on a lot of rhythms going on and me and yeah. him like mesh well. That's what I'm saying. You guys are like a, a good duo, man. <clears throat> I, I yeah. honestly really fuck with Russ. Like, I yeah. feel like it's a lot of people either it's like you love him or you hate him. Yeah. And I think a lot of people who hate him kind of came onto him later because I first heard him when I heard that lose control. Yeah. Okay. Drop. Now, yeah. Because now Russ, I don't really like the music. Like, yeah. Now Russ is kind of annoying. Now it's the personality yeah. thing switch for you, kind of switch. But before Russ you seen that? it, before you seen, well, well, this I is how like he was it. like. I feel like he was a lot like like big headed and shit when he first came out. Now he's kind of like. Well, well, how I seen it, so? I didn't yeah. see it as big headed. Like I said, I seen him from the beginning, and I seen it as manifestation, fucking right. trying to believe it. And that's what he talks about a lot in his book. Yeah, yeah. So, it, like, yeah. totally makes sense. Like, that's what it was at first. Was I'm gonna believe I'm the best, even if nobody else believes yeah. I am. Or and until you see I that am. with a lot of the greats. You see that with a lot of people who are do who are really big in the industry. Their self belief is it's crazy through crazy. the roof. <clears throat> and so, what happens when you're not the best, but you're trying to believe you're the best? Everybody loves you. They love that. They love that. But then when you actually become the best, 
and you're still preaching it. I'm the best. You manifest now they they hate you though. Yeah. Now they're like, oh, he, it's insane. He's big headed, but in reality, he's doing the right. same thing he was I doing feel, the whole I feel time. What you're saying, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that, and I kind of let the public opinion kind of sway me in that shit too because the whole time I was defending him, and then it kind of went in my head too, where I was just like. Ah, uh, this nigga's kind of too much. It's like 50 you know I mean? cent set of vests, right? First they hate you, then, then they, they love you. Then they hate you, hate you yeah, again. Yeah, for, for sure, sure, for sure. Yeah. That's why you're worried about getting canceled, huh? Me? Getting canceled on the podcast. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? <laughs> nah, Stop it, like, bro. He said he didn't want to get canceled Stop and it. shit. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, but He's sneak recording me over here. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and the bonus, that's going to be for the members. But in uh, Patreon you're and trying shit. to give me a shot before the podcast. So yeah, I know for sure. You. Got to tell you the, <laughs> the truth serum. For sure. <laughs> right? But in another sure. note, did you guys see uh, this week that uh, Trump actually got indicted for his fourth count? Damn, yeah. So this one, this one was actually for being the head of a criminal organization. Rico, sheesh. He's gonna be in in bro. He's gonna be in fucking jail. Still having press conferences. Still running name. for president. Can a person who go like a felon go to jail? You go, be a president? Yeah. Be, can, can a felon be, be a, a president? president? Imagine that food. Like no, I don't think so. Imagine having ha, that food like jam pop food. Like fucking <laughs> <laughs> that food. Fucking just having a fucking like chill. Like hey, who you rolling with, homie? Like that food. <laughs> That I'm food, a homie, that, yeah. <laughs> you know. But start getting tatted and but, shit. Yeah, but imagine that was like hardcore and shit. Like you know, <laughs> he's badass. He gets he's his like, like little hair braided and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's going hard for the Democrats. <laughs> he get the two pages. He's over there making hey. fucking mean ass spreads and shit. Like that. <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga will be in. Put a do rag. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga being the best jail. Well, the thing is too, they don't. That's the whole thing is they don't know what to do about that because it's never been done before. So it's like, what do you do? Because technically, you're supposed to have Secret Service watch everywhere. So like, does he go to jail and not get Secret Service? Uh, does he get his own area? Do you put him in? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do with that? I know a lot. Okay, so I know a lot of like people that go to jail when like that are celebrity and all that stuff. They do go to regular jail, but then is there any cases where they're just like? Because I mean, when you think about like, uh, uh, um. Escobar. Yeah. Homie built his own jail, my yeah, nigga. But that's when he had he his jail over terms. there. Yeah. That's when he had his jail over there. But then when they try to extradite him over here, he's not getting that. You know what I'm, I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Like, I'm just saying, like, it, do celebrities like, get out. any? You but know, because even like in, I mean, I don't know how true this story is, but even in Goodfellas and shit, remember, like, when they go to jail? Oh, yeah. They're cooking. No, that show's probably <laughs> definitely like that. You know what I'm There's saying? even shit like that now where, you know, niggas get phones. Niggas get everything they want. I mean, the me? truth is, is that like the inmates run the prison. You know no, what I'm saying? Sure. Well, yeah. I mean, at the same time, you're talking about a CEO who's getting paid, you know, thirty an hour, some twenty five an hour. So if a nigga wants to pay him a thousand dollars for a phone, they're he's gonna, gonna make, bring that money. They're gonna make uh, uh, Donald Trump the shot caller and shit in the in no, the, for sure. <laughs> he, no, the, the house mouse. mouse. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, go build that, go build that wall over there. <laughs> nah, he needs a wall. Nah, but most likely he would definitely get his. He would. Protective custody wouldn't be enough. Like yeah, they he, gotta literally get his own wing and he shit. He definitely wouldn't be in like the twin towers or like. Imagine like, those niggas just chilling, feet up type shit. He's gonna be chilling, bro. Definitely He's gonna be with be the like, warden and shit, like watching the, the, the fucking shit. game. No, for sure, with girls the and shit, all type of shit. <laughs> all type yeah. of shit. He's gonna be getting mad and shit, watching the debate and shit, because Hillary's about to win and shit. I was gonna have like a, a king size bed in his cell and shit, like. Big ass cell. No, for sure. TV. Rugs. Another TV. thing we didn't talk about that happened right before we got in is the earthquake happened. Oh, yeah. In the Dirty middle of I'm surprised that it's taking this long to talk about something like that. <laughs> no, for sure. We talked totally well, we talk about the hurricane, worse. but it kind of like. I guess because it wasn't that bad. It was like 5.1 yeah, or something it was like quick. that. I mean, it didn't even feel like that. Felt Epicenter in Ohio. It was pretty long. This nigga knows all the details of shit. <laughs> Epicenter in Ohio, about 5.2 <laughs> 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 magnitude. <laughs> <This, laughs> I was all you, like, back what to you, Bob. to talk about on the podcast? I got like notes and shit. No, but I was telling you really, uh, I, you know, I won't even let it go. It's, it's something that I was talking about earlier that I want to do for the pod, but maybe we'll just leave it as surprise oh, when we actually do it. Okay. But I would love to get what people think of it, but we'll, we'll save it. We'll okay, save it. Okay. But we got some funny shit, funny shit coming. But yeah, yeah, that shit was pretty crazy, the earthquake, but I'm not going to lie, my apartment kind of be shaking a little bit because you know, I'm the on a busy pass. street, and so there'll be like, no, no, big wheelers and shit like that. When they pass, it's a quick shake. Yeah. So when I first felt, I was like, is that but Peter? then that shit kept going. Like, is that Peter walking? <laughs> Peter's doing jumping jacks. <laughs> I'm like, bro, stop. What are you doing? Trying to get fit, man. <laughs> He's like yelling for the other Yo, P, stop, bro. <laughs> He's trying to get right Yo, for the trying to get right for the pod. <laughs> I'm over there getting the, doing, la, the last beer you have in the refrigerator. This nigga's like, doing, pot? This this nigga's doing, doing burpees and shit. I know Ashley was like, oh, Peter has two more beers in there. Surprised you didn't get I should have got him. 
you know. Nah, it's not good. <laughs> not alcoholic, guys. Uh, you remember that? Like, he yeah. starts off the last episode. That was crazy. We're to get him in AA and shit. <laughs> Fuck you. No, because right before we started, he's like, I'm going to finish this beer. I don't want them to think I'm alcoholic. So I don't, right I don't really started, like drinking. I said, on, you know what I mean? Hey, like, I'm worried about my boy right here. This I don't drink much. Trying to secret drink. I definitely shit. don't want to be on camera just always drinking and shit. I rather, I mean, I smoke. You feel me? I ain't mean, nothing yeah. wrong with it. Yeah, it's all good. No judgments. We chilling. You know, it's yeah. like chill time. What else okay. you got for me, though? Um. So to touch Tell back, him. to touch back to the earthquake. Though, oh yeah, yeah. But I was at the at the at the counter of of the spot getting oh, food. The food spot? Yeah. So I'm like leaning against the counter, like, and I'm asking the homie because the homie's with me, and I'm asking the cashier, like, yo, like, you guys feel that? And they're like looking at me like I'm crazy. I think it's because I was leaning against the counter. Yeah. <laughs> this thing was over here, like in a whole other dimension. They're like, you're like, I'm yeah. Shaking. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> and then the Amber Alert came like at the same time. It was like it was crazy. Anyway, yeah. Almost if it like predicted <laughs> and shit, it, like it's like if you would have seen that first and shit, and then all of a sudden it starts shaking. You're like, wait a second, how the fuck this happened? For real. I'm getting calls <laughs> from home like, oh, come uh, on, did you, did you get? Yeah, come back. My I'm phone's like, going off. Like, it's, it's all, all good. good. It's good. All good. We're good. This nigga's what? mom called him. Like, <laughs> my mom was on shaking. She calling me over. Peter. Peter. I'm like, I'm not the rock. I'm not the rock. <laughs> hey, so were you? I can't save the world, motherfucker. What What did you say? Uh, were you part of? Uh, Peta, was it Peta? Petaville? Petaville? No. You were in Petaville? What is that? Oh, that was when God. I went to Fulton. South Sussex. Was... <laughs> <laughs> what does that make you think? If they used to call the homie Peta. What does that what? make you think? It's because my mom used to call me Peta. So then all the homies would just be like, Peta. That's what they would say. Peta? Yeah. What does that make you think? Like dog? <laughs> That's what Peter. I said. Peta. Yeah. Oh, Peta. like a pear. I guess. Like pear. a Peta, like a pear. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. nobody does. I nobody mean, does. I well, mean, fuck you. I was that's just asking if you was that's part what, of that's what Peta means. It was, it's yeah. a pair, and it was like Peraville. Peraville. It was just that was his stupid. hood, like his fourteen year old hood and that shit. That was their shit. That was their shit. Peraville, Peraville, Peraville. No, it was just like it was Lana. a spot where we used to kick it. Land of the pairs. and there was one time where we, we we kicked it right there. Like it was a bunch of people kicking it right there, and like we we made this thing like oh. We're not gonna let nobody pass through. Like the bell's gonna ring, and we're not gonna let nobody yeah, pass through. Right nobody there. goes through Betterville. So we're Better, here. He's we definitely a, gangbanger. It's <laughs> not that. Betterville, homie. <laughs> we both had a territory. We niggas had to go shit. around. We <laughs> straight up did that shit in full time middle school. That's hilarious. Shout out to yeah. this nigga gangbanging since yeah. middle school, homie. Yeah. No, I wanted to talk about that 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 telemarketing documentary you guys have not seen, right? Oh yeah, let's do it. I have not seen it. Okay, Go ahead and so, give us a little spoiler. All right, I'm not going to do what the fuck you do because this guy is spoiled everything. <laughs> They're coming from this nigga. Bro, you do. You, he'll tell, tell you the whole fucking story. You're like, well, you I'm know not why you watch can't it no spoil more. it? Because you don't watch it. Well, yeah, you true. can't even spoil true. it. Like, hey, what was it about? Whoa, whoa, whoa there was whoa, a guy? Kind of and there was a girl. <laughs> you fell asleep. And they were kissing? <laughs> and then I don't know. I didn't see that to know. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it's a, it's a story about a, a, a telemarketing company that... Bro, like back in the day, you could run up a scam, bro. Like these guys were calling on behalf of police foundations, fire departments, veterans, whatever, man. Oh, they started going see, cancer. I did see part of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and these these two guys just decide that they're gonna go in there and just like document their life working there, but they end up like saying, "No, oh, fuck this. Like, let's take these guys down." And they want to put them together a documentary. So, oh shit! So it's actually them, the guys that work there. Yeah, the, the ones that are doing the documentary are the guys that work there. Oh, I can fuck with that. And um, I'll just tell you one thing. There's a so, guy but in they, there. They didn't know that it was a scam? The people that work there? Those at guys. first, no. At first, they just thought they were like... But they they're like they were actually of, helping shit. Bro, there was like, they, bro, they had a bunch of crackheads working there. Like, this is telemarketing. I don't know if you ever worked telemarketing at all. I no. have. I, I have. I thought about it. And that's why I think it's so interesting because I've worked that shit. And I've definitely been in places where I'm like, whoa... Why the fuck is our name uh, Oak Park, whatever the fuck over here? And then when I'm calling in the Midwest, I'm this other company name. Like, yeah. it was kind of sketchy. Oh, that's crazy. You feel me? Yeah. And I ain't never seen what we were selling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we were supposedly yeah. selling printer ink and shit like that. Those niggas could be pushing weight. They don't know what the fuck's happening. Well, that's what niggas yeah, are doing with the penny crazy. stocks and shit. You remember that? 
uh, with the with like, uh, like they were selling, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. The Wolf, Wolf of Wall, Wall Street. Street. That's how yeah. that all started with the penny stocks. Yeah, yeah. Things just selling penny stocks. There's and people still doing like all types shit of like schemes. That. The 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 I mean, shit. We get text all the time. UPS, your package didn't make it. Click this shit. Oh yeah, yeah. A yeah, random yeah, website. Yeah, you ever yeah. get those? Never click the link. Never, never click the link. Never. Yeah. Never click the link. Yeah. No, like I mean, one of the scams I see. I'm, I'm gonna say it's a scam. I, I see these girls on the corner, bro, with their kids. But it'll be like the full corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're all who have the same sign saying, I need help. I have rent, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we all have fucking rent now. We all need that. But it's like, but they're like, oh, bro, I see this like a whole network. I could imagine they're running it up. I'm yeah, like, honestly, like a, sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, yeah. I don't know what to say because I'm like, this could be real. It could be fake, but sometimes you but see when the you same people. on four corners? So I see a rotation. you got the whole block. That's the up. thing. Like, I've seen a Middle Eastern family right here, and they'll be there one month, and then I see them, like, seven months later, six months later. So there's, like, a time in between. But I might because see them they again. over there. They're, they're you know, the last two years. years you know, shit, you know, you know and you know who, 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 like, who loses there? Is the people who actually, who actually are down it. bad. No, for yeah, sure. Bro. And really need it. And the, and the people who are, like, you know, using their kids or like as bait to get like people mm-hmm. to get give them money. Oh, and I so see like, them. I see them getting know. money all day too. Yeah, bro. and like some of these people be jumping in the cars that are like better than what I drive. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Remember for that sure. Chappelle episode? That's when he first talked about that shit. It was like a guy who was asking for money, and then like, and he ends he, up being like rich. Like, yeah, he, he puts on like a suit and he like goes into a sick ass black car and shit. Damn, like, for real. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I remember giving a. Uh, one time I gave somebody food that was, he was on the street and it was like, I barely touched it. It was like my, I was just, wasn't feeling good. So I, I had my breakfast. It was like, you know, like the Denny's bre- breakfast, like the eggs, yeah, the yeah. pancakes, the bacon, yeah, no, all the whole night. And like, the, I was like, Hey, you want some jam. food? And then he's like, what is it? Uh, this <laughs> and I'm like, I just showed him what it is. And he's like, Nah, I'm good. That's crazy. I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> now the what is it is kind of crazy. Didn't you have somebody that's just take crazy. your shit and throw it out? Oh yeah, like they wanted money. But and with shit. an attitude though, with like no, an sure. attitude, and I'm like, whoa, that's never mind. Okay, my bad. Like, sorry. I've man. had somebody be like, I want money, but also like, if you're cool and you're honest, nigga, if you say you want a beer, bro, I'll buy you a beer. Like, yeah, I'm right. not tripping. Like, mm-hmm. I get it, bro. You're going through some shit. Vices. All you need is a, you want a beer right now. Like, it might not save you, but neither is three dollars. So, yeah. here, go ahead, take the beer, nigga. I'll go in there and get you a forty or some sure. shit. Like, no, but this this guy said he just had somebody. He handled some shit. He's like, fuck <laughs> this <laughs> shit, bro. I don't remember the story. Though. I don't remember the story at all. But he wanted money. That's why. And I was like, nah, I got this. It was like a brand new like hot dog or burger or some shit. And I'm like, here. And that nigga's like, what the fuck? And that nigga's just like, I wanted money. And I was like, damn. damn. That shit crazy. Have you ever been scammed though? Scammed? Um, Have they ever got you? I got caught for a chain one time. Yeah. Not really. No, I've never been you scammed. Never see, uh, this shit was going viral like probably a year or two ago. But this was probably like. Four years ago, fucking, so I pulled up to the gas station. Mr. T not this shit, though. Not this shit, though. Don't come on my shit. But this was, uh, I went to the gas station to be like Armenian, Middle Eastern pizza people. No offense, but most of the time it is. And uh, they'll be with their whole family. Wife in the passenger, kid in the back, baby in the car seat. Nigga, he's like, ah, bro, like, I don't have money. Like, I'm trying to get back to the hotel. Our credit cards got frozen and shit. We're trying to get back to the airport. Blah, blah, blah. We got to get mm, flights out. Mm. He's like, I'll sell you this chain right here. And it was like a small little Cuban. He's like, I saw this chain, just give me like 140. Mm. Or he's like, give me like 200. And I was like, give me like 120. And then again, I'm giving me for like 100. Damn. And then after I left, and it looked legit. It had the 14K stamp on it. That it was, was from King It Ice. was pretty solid. You know what I mean? It still might have been real, but that shit was not real. Then, then, now they're, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Then he hits you with the, like, as you buy, after you buy it, he's like, I got this Rolly too, but I'll give it to you for like 250. <laughs> Who the fuck is selling a Rolly for two fifty? You know what I'm saying? That's what you're like. <laughs> like uh, the food from uh, Martin, the Martins, like oh, when the Martin they have shows? all the chains and shit in there. Uh, I forget Hustle Man, the Hustle Man. Hell yeah, uh, Martin yeah. and shit. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about the right character there. though. But yeah, this nigga with the chain. I mean, the the, the watch two fifty. Got the, this one for hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like, that reminds me when I was out when I was a kid. Like I was like, I was a stupid kid. I was like sixteen, seventeen. And some uh, some kid was like, I got some e-pills. And I was always curious to, like, try e-pills. I never tried it, right? And I was like, oh, okay, like, well, let me see it. Like, he pulls it out. It's like a little, like, round pill. I don't, I don't know what the fuck they look like. Yeah. You know, I wasn't into that stuff. But I was always curious, you know, a little curious kid. So then I give him, like, 20 bucks. Say, yeah, 20 bucks. All right, here you go. 
Then I go and I take it, and I'm like waiting. Like I remember, I remember sitting at like a fat burger on Sepulveda, just waiting for, just waiting for it to kick in, and it literally never kicked in. I'm gonna give you a smarty. It never kicked in. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a smarty. <laughs> for I told, hours there. I told this story before, but um, when I was young, my mom she got she worked in PR and she had got like a bunch of bags of like gummy eyeballs and shit, yeah. and it was like near Halloween time. Those shits were fire. And uh, so I took like 20 to school and I went to school and I was telling people they had like MDMA in them. And I was Damn. like, shoot me 10 bucks. This was like in the seventh grade. Well, hold up. Was it you that saw me that? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck if this, this right is here. like in the seventh grade and I sold, like, I sold like a good like seven to 10 of them. <laughs> And then I remember kids were literally like, I feel something and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the niggas got placebo effect. Niggas were literally like, I feel some yeah, that's shit. That's crazy. And hey, you know too. what's crazier? What? So I sat there and I was like all bummed out, right? Uh-huh. That like nothing happened. Yeah, hit. And somebody walked in. I remember somebody walked in and gave one of like the bums that was hanging out there. He just walked in. He's like, I'm going to give you something, but you got to take it right now. He's like, what is it? It's like, it's an acid tap. And if we give him an acid tap, he's got to take it right now. He's like, all right. And he took it. Damn. And my stupid ass fucking was like, I want, I want one. one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he should have told his ass. Let me get one too, my nigga. Yo, that shit smacked. No, for sure. That shit, <laughs> he did that give it to you. That shit smacks, yeah. He gave yeah, it to you? That oh, shit, smacked. shit. I was crazy. I was so dumb. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's crazy. like, fuck it. I'm down too. I never was like, I never was addicted to anything, but I was always wanting to experiment and find out what things were. Yeah. Yeah. You know, at least once. Yeah, I was pretty down to try it. Yeah. I tried to get him out of shit at least once. Yeah, at least <laughs> once for sure. Um, did you see that freaking? Uh, you watch Fresh and Fit at all? Uh, I'm I'm familiar. Oh, you are, you never like full shit? episodes. Mm-hmm. The, uh, you probably seen like clips of it. it's the two guys. They're usually at a table with or a like bunch of girls bunch around of it. And then, like, more often than not, the clips oh, you probably seen is they're, yeah, 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 they're like, yeah, talking yeah, shit to yeah, them or yeah, clowning yeah, yeah. on them. I know, shit. yeah, Fresh and Fit. Yeah, yeah, Fresh and Fit. Yeah, well, I don't know if you, if you guys out there don't know, but they actually canceled that now. They, like, got demonetized. got demonetized. I see that. Oh, really? Why? Um, Because they are considered uh, misogynistic and just, like, they hate, like, they kind of spew hate against women and stuff like that. What do you think about that? Do you think that's what they do? Like, when, when you watch, I mean... You see these short clips. We see you, short clips. That's what, what it always think? is. I think it's always dangerous. Censorship is just always very dangerous. It's a very dangerous thing. You know, For like sure. I mean, you might not like it, but you know, everyone there's a, there's always that little thing called the First Amendment. But you where know? do you draw the line, though? Where do you where yeah, do you draw the line? Because either there's a line or there's not a line. You feel me? Right. I think it's like when when it's a hate is like hateful speech, right? Yeah. yeah. Hateful speech. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, for sure. Hate speech. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, that's what they're saying. Pretty much, that's what they're using as far as like them getting demonetized. But there. that's the thing too, though, is like when you say no censorship, that's where those niggas argue that like even when it comes to like a fucking terrorist group, like some people would argue, oh, we need to let them, you know, if say what they say, so we can see it. Maybe it's not going to make us say, oh, I want to go to fucking Afghanistan and join the terrorist group. Yeah. It might just give you more understanding of something right. that's it going just on sparks, in mindset. The thing is that it sparks ideas. Conversation. It sparks ideas conversations, and conversation. exactly. conversations and, and, and to, a, to a broad audience, to a yeah. lot of people. So when you get popping like that, because if they had like 100 followers, it wouldn't be a problem. No, for sure. You know? Yeah. But that's why a lot of people <laughs> have gone off YouTube though and off. And that's why I was. And, that, and, that's what it led me to think about is like, <clears throat> even what we're doing here is like we could be building on this platform, which is great, right? Yeah. But there's also something where we have to like look at. Hey, we need to find another outsource. I was thinking no, of that sure. also like for website yeah. embedded shit. Yeah, you know I was what I'm thinking saying? about like, that when I was decided to go online with music production, and I just posted beats online. Yeah, because usually I like to make that like a very personal thing where I, if I'll do a like tailored beat for somebody or like you know it's a personal thing. Yeah. I see you in my studio, like you know we'd make that transaction in person. But yeah. I just recently put them online, and I had to make that decision like do I, do I build out my own website, or do I start start out. On a, a third party, like mm-hmm. Beat Stars or something like that, you know, yeah. where I can put my stuff. Because you just you lose control, though. You know what I'm saying? Like anytime when you got, get on these websites, it's like, just more eyes, though. You know what I'm saying? It's I mean, that's what it's, that's what it is. Because then you have to build traction to your website and everything. It's like the that. traffic. It's the yeah. traffic. Yeah. yeah. But but what I'm saying, like it, like when things like this, when I see shit like this happening, that's automatically where I think I'm like, because we're trying to build up on a bigger scale, right? So like, you know, God forbid we say something that somebody don't fucking like out yeah. there. And then all of a sudden they want to come for our shit that we built. And if you're 
you're, you're kind of fucking with people's livelihoods. I mean, I get you say there has to be like a gray area, right? Like where. Well, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm like, you've always stood on edge. that. You stood on that. There has to be like a checks I'm and balance. Also on the I feel like there has to be. Yeah, I feel like there has to be some kind of checks and balance. But at the same I time, I also haven't seen that podcast too much. So I know they'd be out of pocket, like yeah. hella out of pocket. Some of them. Maybe yeah. basically telling but the women way, that they're. But fucking, the thing is, people want to see that. People yeah, want people to see. Watch, obviously, it's people popular. don't want to see a boring ass conversation. Yeah. They want to see some shit that's like thought provoking, like edgy. You know, like. But, yeah. but then that's what that's that's where it calls into question when we're talking about censorship. We're talking about. I was saying like a terrorist group or something like that. And people can almost, it's not the same, obviously, but so yeah, you have those people that say, I want to see what the conversation is. I want to, you know, spark ideas. I want to think about it. How, do, how am I going to know if I can't witness it? And then at the same time, you have people that will actually like join in on that and start doing that themselves, whether that be misogynistic and treating women like fucking animals and saying that they're not worth anything if they got an instagram yada 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 mm. or yeah. even that kid that just recently we talked about a couple <laughs> weeks crazy. ago crazy the kid <laughs> we just talked about a couple weeks ago he was over here talking to people in uh, uh afghanistan talking about getting a school uh st- doing a school shooting that's and crazy he was from america so like they were saying he was in conversation with them over the internet so like there's people like that that literally they will see that and say you know what america is bad and like, you know, there's that opportunity too. So that's where yeah. it's like, where do you draw the line? I want to hear the conversation, but at the same time, I don't want kids to see it and say, oh, women are a piece of shit and I got to not marry a woman or do anything or treat women like shit until I'm 35 years old. Cause that's basically their main, they don't say treat them like shit. They kind of try to spin it. They don't say treat for, them like shit. They, for, they, there's they, always been like forms of media. that are very impactful to the youth. Yeah. Like in the different generations, it just so happens right now. It's podcasts. It's like, you know, uh, whoever's like trending, you know, YouTubers, yeah. TikTok, uh, streamers, and stuff, you know, yeah, streamers, yeah. like people who are like influencing like young minds and stuff. You know, yeah. I think that, <clears throat> but, but I think that's what like, like we've been saying though, that's what keeps it interesting, bro. Like yeah. Yeah. that's what keeps you like, kind of like, cause I think you could open a conversation for anything, you know what I'm saying? And uh, like that, that kind of brings more understanding to things too. You feel me? Like when you automatically just shut it down, like for that in that case, you know what I'm saying? Like you're stopping that growth. There could be growth there too, bro. Like there could be. You feel me? Like there that's what be. I'm saying. But like, there's also like, danger there for people who are like easily manipulated and get brainwashed easily. Because yeah. there's like even though we have the mindset, there's a lot of kids the thing that is you that remember meeting that anything they see, they're gonna follow that. The anyway. access to all that information is it's super. It's very accessible because we got yeah. phones and. Yeah. Computers and stuff like back in the day, it was maybe a little bit harder. What do you think about AI, like kind of coming in? What do you think about AI? I think it's man? cool. I think I think it's dope. Have you fucked with anything? I, I personally haven't. No, but uh, my son has uh, done a few things with AI. He's like drawn up like business plans and like he's drawn up a, a schedule with AI. With That's AI. fire. That's he fire. like he does a uh, his homework. He like he shouldn't. I tell him. <laughs> But I know his ass be doing his homework way. For sure, for, for sure. sure. But I just be like, I just be like, look, just, just, it's fine if it helps you, but just, can you understand the concept? You know? Yeah, make sure you understand. Just, it. just understand what you're learning, like you know, just learn some shit. That's yeah. crazy, right? It's like, like, because I can't gotta, control him. Like no, he's in a, sure. he's got a five page you essay. You could just do that right now on, like, on Chat GPT. Five page essay, bro. You'll be able to read it and see it's not him. You know, it's like, bro, bro, bro. bro. I was like, what the fuck? You don't talk like this. Talking so like Albert Einstein, <laughs> yeah. E equals MC squared. Dude. I'll change my change a little bit, couple words and shit. But what do you think about AI and like music though, bro? Like, what do you think? What do you foresee Honestly, with that? I, I think it's super anything? cool. I think it's super cool. I saw, I saw, um, um, I saw an interview where Ty Dollar Sign was. I don't know if you've seen it, but he was talking about how somebody with AI, somebody can send him an idea. And then he can like take that vocal and make it into his vocal with AI and have the song idea already with his vocal without having him to touch anything. Yeah. No, for and sure. if it's like, that, and but, if it's good enough, AI songs. and if it's good enough, then he can just keep, uh, he can keep that take. Or if he needs to like edit some line, then he can just edit that line and, with and AI. that, but how much easier. And then, Bro, you could just make I a th- rough it's draft. Like, bro, the thing about new technology, and I've learned, and I remember this being told to me in school when I, like, always don't, like, there's people who are always going to be like, no, this is the way I do things. This is the old way. It's the right way. It works for me. Yeah. Like, I don't want to learn that new stuff. <clears throat> and <clears throat> at times, I'm Fucking always, I'm yourself. always, like, having to take my, I have to take my own advice. Because I'm always, like, one of those, too. But I'm starting to learn, like, nah, just keep it, keep it with the times, you know? No, for sure. But 
I think the people who are embracing AI are definitely gonna have a, a leg upper up. Hand. On, yeah, the upper hand on for sure. Well, on, people were saying it last stuff. time. Like one day the tractor came out, and there's a lot of old school farmers that are just like, "Oh, like I'm not gonna use that. I don't need yeah. that. I have my mules. I have my horses and shit." Yeah. And then the people who got a tractor and learned how to use it and and got their farm super nice and going and even bigger now because they can do more quicker. Yeah, took off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, those people with the like, mules. Stayed where they were at or fell dust. off. You're, you know only as, you're only as good as the tools that you have. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Confucius. No, because like we were talking about AI, like like AI too, like kind of like with the music, you'll be able to be like, okay, you're prompted to say, to say, I want the beat to sound like this. I want it to be in the style of this person, Metro Boomin. Fucking, I want it to be this tempo, this key, blah, 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 blah. I haven't heard of that. No, I haven't heard of that. I'm not no, saying, saying that. you I, could though. Then you I'm make not a saying that. Beats. I'm not saying that they have. But I'm saying I could see it going there. Yeah. Where now you're like creating whole instrumentals, songs. That would be crazy. And then even some movies, bro. Like, oh, okay, no. I'm gonna fucking. I heard one. a Tupac song that was crazy. Like it was AI. No, yeah. I heard some yeah. crazy ones. But yeah. think the about Drake that. one is fire. Think about well, that though. The with, that, ones the, with that prompt, because like even with the Chat GPT, you could say, "Give me a hundred names that I should use to make this brand." Mm-hmm. You know, that's about this, this, and this, and it'll make it. That same way, you could be like, "Give me a hundred beats," like you said, that are Metro Boomin type. <laughs> With this, you know, that not Drake now. would sound can good you, on... Can you, though? Not, not yet, yet. But you will... Why not? It's right around the corner type shit. Not yet. But I mean, like, I don't know if you ever heard of Mid Journey. It's a... it's a it's Right a, around the corner. It's an image generator. Okay, so will it... Hold up. To touch back. Will it... Will it find beats that already exist online in some database that it pulls no, from? No, it would make you some... I mean, but when you break down music, compo- music, it would compose... The same. New. It would compose, compose like, a it would new song. Comp- it would compose it would compose I'm, I'm thinking there's probably already that. There probably is. There has to be. There has to be. I, I mean, there there's some things I've seen. They're doing as, crazier shit. With I nerd shit. out on some production shit. Um, I saw somebody. I saw at the at Nam some video where people were like beatboxing their MIDI. So like they were like, and then and, they, just, and then like the kick and the snare would appear. That's crazy. So they they could go like, and then like it the would all, it would the there. kick the snare and the hat would appear. That's crazy. If you haven't, I mean, I mean, I haven't looked into a lot of it, but like I would say, look into the AI music things to start getting on that. You feel me? Like, yeah. you, you got to kind of get ahead of the wave too. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I really want to try that one. That one looks interesting. The, the so, door's open. The train is open. You feel me? The I'm always open. like buying plugins and like, man, it's still like, playing the piano and for sure. Yeah, I have a piano in the studio now. It's like amazing. I love it. Love it for sure. But um, I was just showing him last night talking about the AI with the movies, like. So this company, they oh. came up with this uh, AI. They used AI, and basically, they started with South Park. So they got 1,200 characters, like 1,200 backgrounds. They got all the stuff from South Park. They loaded into this AI. Then basically, they put it into a free world, all the characters into a free world where they're just, they're AI bots just doing what they do. They interact with each other. So basically, you input a prompt, and you say, I want an episode about a evil, um, an evil pig, robot pig that takes over the world, and Kyle has to stop it. And it'll drop a whole episode for you. And then you can edit it just by saying, you know what? Actually, take uh, Kenny out, put fucking, you know, Mr. Stan, Stan in there or whatever. And that should have made the whole episode. And they made like 10,000 episodes of that. But this is legit. Like, this is already. No, they already they did had this. Like, and no way. Yeah. And they said they're not using it for that because they don't own South Park. But they already have their own show that they're but making. But it'll do the, bro, like, bro, we're talking about, like, the full-on production, though. Like, no, like, it looks legit like legit, a full, like better South than Park. a fucking South Park episode. That you would watch. And that she could make a thousand episodes right then and there. Crazy, That's so bro. crazy. Um, yeah. But actually, we were talking about this last time, too. Uh, was it Seal, the one that fucked up his voice? I think it's Seal. The... Seal's the one with the scar on his eye, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he fucked up in his voice in an accident. Kiss from a rose. Some shit kiss from a rose. That guy? Yeah. Okay. So he fucked up his voice in an accident, and uh, he can't sing anymore. So yeah. he's, he said he's going to use AI to start making music again. Mm. That's dope. That's a crazy, good for him. Crazy use right there. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, like, like you could either get, you can get on board and start figuring all this shit out, or just get left in the dust. Yeah, gotta get ahead. To the new technology for sure. I stay like, yeah. I be stay, bro. I stay on the internet. Like, I, I even started an AI page on YouTube and shit. Like, it's. I gotta give it up to you, uh, <laughs> Peter, because. I remember when you were learning how to like do a picture in picture, and you were like trying to figure that out. And you had never done video, anything with video, or like even put yourself on camera. Yeah. And then now, like, you're, I don't know how many episodes in, but like, I've seen the growth and 
I gotta give it up to you guys. Like I listen to this podcast every now oh, and then. Yeah. Like I'll put really it on. Shit, you know? Shout out you know, to go to hit the gym and like you know put it on. So, yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah. to Shout out. Appreciate you that. Learn, appreciate I, know, it, I know you get beyond yeah. the technical side of stuff. Yeah, yeah sure. be, I'm telling you, I stay on the internet, dog, and I start just like, just editing you, the podcast. All mad at this. We're like this one. <laughs> He's happier now though since we did one angle, so that's just. Oh like no, that's just way instant. simpler. Yeah, you know? before he but was actually the, with the shorts. I still got to do uh, some work, but it, with the yeah, I figured yeah, things that out. Was different. Yeah. So, that do was you still different. do you zoom in on anything, or you just leave it? One? Well, I zoom in and then I just use the um, what is the mask keyframe keyframe? Oh, okay, to go back and forth. Yeah, we uh, only in. done like three up three four episodes with just one angle. Okay, but, I like the vibe. I like the vibe with the one angle too. That's dumb. It's cool, but yeah. Cause I'm, I'm be honest with you, like you'd be surprised on like how long it can take, bro. With for the editing, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, when he's clipping it with back. back and editing. Forth? I was just talking to Ace One Eight about that. Yeah. Right? It's like, man, it's like it takes so long. He's got like babies running around. It takes so long just to make like any edit on something because of the rendering and like yeah, the looking for files and finding what finding B-roll, the right piece and all finding that the right stuff. Piece, yeah, yeah. And everything with with Adobe, if you don't have like a massive computer. It's slow, you know, like because no, sure. video files are just big, you know. Well, okay, so we know you, we know you do music. We know you do, you know, a bunch of shit: music, engineering, making beats. What is a hidden a hidden talent? A hidden it's talent. A hidden talent. Danny Zico got. It's Damn. not basketball. It's not Besides, basketball. It's, <laughs> you say it's not bad. All right, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, jam. that's it. Like, We're good. It's because it's football. Yeah, it's <laughs> We're about to go. On. We're about to go back. I need a rematch. Best. Fuck it. Let's, let's go play in the best hurricane. Best out of five. Best out of five. Let's get it. Let's go play in the hurricane. Best out of seven. Think it's gonna be fucking. Best out of thirteen. AJ out there. You're gonna have Omarion in the background dancing like you guys, sir. Icebox. Oh, okay. All right. So hidden talent, right? Yeah. Okay. I fucking back in the day, I used to like take dance classes, like full on, like. Like full on, like I was in a dance like team, choreography with, and shit? with like twenty girls behind. Was it like hip hop dance? Yeah, hip hop dance. Please, over there. Did you show us some hip hop dance? No, I just fucking. <laughs> I, I, I don't have. Did it. you show us? No, I'm talking about you doing. He started dancing like Britney Spears. Did you show us? Started dancing like Britney Spears. Hey, but you seen Britney going on? When I'm in the club, shit, you know. Yeah, you be doing your shit. Might catch me. Hey, got the dance. Got the dance. Oh shit, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, man, my first my first instrument was a pan flute, you? South Park reference. Pan flute, okay, yeah. okay. But with the dance, I want to ask with the, <laughs> but with the dancing, did you have to like do competition and like performances and? Yeah, okay. I would love yeah. to see a video. Of that. There is a video somewhere out there. <laughs> I would love to see. There's a video, a video of somewhere out there of of uh, me and the dance team. There's also a, of one of me and on a recital when I was like twelve, like singing. Full on late as a Rob shit. If you guys want to see a video of him as a kid, go to YouTube and search Danny Zico. Would you still love me? L U V. L U V me. You feel yeah. me? You'll would you it. still love me by Danny Zico? Brand new video. <laughs> Brand new video. You feel me? Don't he's miss the, it. He's on the promo run. Hey, did you guys see fucking what happened in Pennsylvania with the house blowing up, bro? Oh no, yeah, it just fucking they couldn't it. figure it out at first. It just bro, like it like legit though, like when the roof blows up, bro, that shit just like exploded, homie. What like, happened? Bro. Um Did they finally figure it out? I heard that supposedly some, there was a mine under. This what some, the fuck? Supposedly. That's what I heard. I don't know. That is what did you crazy. Hear? What I heard was like a gas like the gas um, gas leak? Not the gas leak, the water heater shit that blew up, but no, oh, that's no. too big of an explosion for that. That explode, bro. Like this like house is crazy. cursed. Yeah, but but RIP. I mean, people crazy. people passed away, man. No, R. even R. the neighbors too that weren't even oh, fuck, in the sucks. house. It's terrible. Um, like six people or something like that passed oh my away. God damn. But bro, like, oh, sex. The the shit was just a ticking time bomb, bro. Like, look here, is there? Oh no! That ain't no water heater, nigga. Like and there was a family inside? Yeah. There was a family inside. There, That's bro. fucking heartbreaking, man. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. crazy. But that was not no water heater. But yeah, they Remember were trying, they're still Damn. trying to figure it out. They didn't know what it was. Remember that Beirut uh, explosion? Oh, yeah, that one was huge. You remember that one? The shockwave was insane. Beirut? Explosion? Beirut. Wasn't Beirut it like explosion? a huh. plant or some shit? That uh, was like a plant with like a fireworks. I don't know what happened. Had, Something had in there. insane, but it was huge. Just pull it up, bro. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let me see. Bro, that shit exploded. You remember that? That shit exploded. So right when you look up Beirut, that shit. And they have all these different angles and shit. 
Oh, I do remember that. Lebanon. Nigga, you feel Oh, yeah, shit. Lebanon's capital, Beirut. Man, this uh, geography fail. <laughs> yeah, how Lebanon. were you in school, man? Like, Lebanon. How, how were you in school? Like, how, how was I? Yeah, like as far as <laughs> school. How was I? I was good up until, uh, like, <laughs> ni- up until, like, ninth grade. Would you say you were, like, a class clown? Would you be, like, clowning and shit or no? Yeah, I'd be clowning around. <laughs> yeah, be, like, I this nigga was in there dancing and shit. <laughs> just dancing trying to the learn back the of the club. Fucking, like, <laughs> fucking on, on, the, on the table, like. Yeah, you feel me? Oh, you were one of those niggas? Oh, yeah. He's, he's writing raps. <laughs> he's writing raps in the bag. I told you this nigga would, is, would never stop singing. This nigga's like doing my homework. That's how he, that's how he, nigga, daddy, shut up. That's how he passed some of his classes and shit, singing to the teachers yeah. and shit. Oh, Van Nuys High School was crazy. This is insane. Is yeah, people, yeah, people doing like coke lines in the back of the classroom. That's wild. Where so you want, you want some dog? My mom's about to pick me up. And, uh, my mom's about it's my mom's <laughs> school. My mom's about to pick my me mom's up. Right now. So I don't want to be like all crazy. I would, but like my mom's about to pick normally, me up. Normally I'd be done. Yeah, normally I'd I got totally some at done. home. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where did you go to Vice? I'm proving, bro. It's like I'm like already eight or what? 08, 09, <laughs> it's hit me. No, no, not 08, my bad. Like 04? Um, what what what? When did you go to Van Nuys? 04? 04. Yeah, like 04. Yeah, so I I, I went there the same year too. Yeah. But uh, when I went, because I just didn't go a lot, bro. Really? <laughs> but I did like 30 days absent one time, bro. Yeah, I wonder how crazy. I missed your ass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's why you never see me there, dog, because I was like crazy. 30 days. <laughs> Who would you kick it with? I remember I, I was out for 30 days. Now, let me tell you this real quick. I was out for 30 days straight, bro, like... And I finally go back to the back to the school and like now I'm talking to like a truancy officer and shit like. O four was crazy, wasn't O four crazy? They had like riot police. At, oh like, yeah, for sure. For was when, the riots when, going when, on during the during the riot times because there was like race wars and stuff. No, for like, sure. There was a lot and, of and them there, and, in the and, valley. And, and I guess it was so bad that they had to call riot police when the bell rang. Police from all angles would be like with their batons, go to class, go to class. <laughs> And I'd be like, Damn, I wasn't there enough like to see that exactly, but but I know there was some race war shit going on. That was like, like a, that might have been like the walkouts. Remember the walkouts? Yeah, you remember the you walkouts, did the walkouts? No, I didn't do the walkouts. No, I had already walked out. I was already ditching. <laughs> it was already <laughs> not too. there. I was already. Yeah, I was sure. there at Target, fucking stealing my games and shit. I was bro. like, damn, I should have gone to school to fucking walk <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like damn, no, for sure, I missed a lot of high school. I'm not gonna lie. I was out, bro. I was out. I, I used to just take vacation, my nigga, like whenever I felt. I used to, I used to ditch school and then just come back and eat at lunch, then ditch again. No way. Yeah. No, I told him. That's, no. that's, that's, that's how poor we were. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was telling him I would literally do the same shit, and then my wrestling coach would be like, "As long as you're back by six period, like I'm not tripping. I don't even give a fuck." Some teachers just not give a fuck. For sure. Yeah, sure. There was definitely like those te- like like did you guys ever have those classrooms where like you can chill in there? Like for sure, it don't matter what period you got, you could go chill in there. You yeah, probably had like one or two. Yeah, or like one. I did like a I did a semester shit. in El Camino though. That was like crazy. It was the total opposite. They're all strict and shit. Yeah, the teachers actually care like, uh, a little bit more. You always get a couple that got a little. Yeah. They care a little bit. Yeah, having a like, I need to have a <laughs> uh, meeting with your mother. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what <laughs> you care? Were you getting in trouble in like, school at all or not? I think I was just like, uh, just like class clown, just like you know, getting expelled, getting in fights, were you fighting? Nah, nah, no, not like fighting, just like not completing work, like just like not really giving a fuck about tests and shit, or like you know, <laughs> I'm not like doing that. this shit, fuck. Yeah, no, that's why I'm on my son about like doing all that, cause I feel like you know you need you need someone to be on you as a kid, you know. No, for sure. It's easy to slack off, even as an adult. Like it's easy to, as a business owner. Sometimes oh, yeah, you wake up sure, and you're like, bro. well, I ain't got no sessions today. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to sit here and... Uh, no, but you still sure. got plenty to do? Not do anything productive. Like, but when the fuck do you feel like you can chill? Never. I Sundays. seriously feel... <laughs> today is Sundays. Sundays. Yeah. This, is, this is chill today. This is chilling. Yeah, this is chill. No, sure. yeah. Doing a podcast yeah. is chilling. I mean, um, Sundays I try to make it like my family day, but fucking more times than often, I'm still like somehow getting booked on a Sunday. So to do session the work never stops, bro. People want to get in on Sundays, mm-hmm. or if I'm not actually getting booked, I'll just go in. Excuse me, I'll just go in and uh, do some uh, work for my own like artist stuff, and that ba- the balancing of the artist stuff and the uh, production and the engineering is like also in itself like pretty a pretty heavy load. Yeah, for sure. Because you have to figure you're out like, it's like, a balance. When am I gonna drop or? 
I think how with, am I gonna work on this? I've always wanted yeah. to like go hard in one thing, and I think that's where I like I've kind of like been my downfall instead of just being balanced and like doing a little bit of everything. I mean, it could go either way, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Some people also stick to one thing and they make they master that shit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it could really go either way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm yeah, yeah it's pretty they, solid. I mean, they say they say like don't spread yourself too thin and shit, but like I don't know, like, it, it's hard to, like, because, like, you want to do so many different things. Like, Nowadays, at least for me, you got to do like, everything. But also, you never know what's going to hit. That's the thing about doing all new yeah. shit is, like, and continuing to do stuff is, like, shit, you never know. You just got to keep never swinging. Know. One of them motherfuckers might hit. You know musically, I mean? musically, like, you have to because you get bored. Like, I don't know, as a producer, sometimes do you feel like, damn, just, like, I don't... I get bored like with making, it. That's why I start making. Do you feel songs. like you're making the same beat again and again? Sometimes, like oh, when yeah, you're, ma- sure. especially when you're too consecutively making beats. Sometimes, mm-hmm. it's like you'll be like, oh, it's just like you're drained a little bit. Mm-hmm. Maybe like take a day off or like, maybe I don't know, half the day off and for come sure. back and do for it sure. again. That's why, like I said, for me, I like to switch it up when I'm not doing the yeah. beats and stuff. Like yeah. I'll do like an actual song. Yeah, and, and like that's that. how I, exactly how I treat it now. When you just switch it up when you get mm-hmm. it's too much of this. All right, let me switch mm-hmm. it up. Do that. There's always, there's always something to do. You know? I've been trying to like focus my days on like, okay, this is this day is like nothing but this, and then the next day is nothing but this. But then I find myself balancing and just jumping around. I think the thing about like being an entrepreneur is the is getting past. We were talking about this earlier about fears. Yeah, mm-hmm. is getting past the fear of what if I fail at trying to do my own business? What if I don't succeed? That's fine. Just like try it again the next month, you know, yeah, like you sure. figure out what didn't work, what does work, you know, maybe try that a little bit more. And because it's not easy, but like getting past those months that are slow and like, damn, there's no movement, like mm-hmm. really this month as much as the last is like, that's when you figure out how, you know, that's yeah. when you unlock it. You need, exactly. I, I'm trying to have like more businesses too. Like, I'm not just trying to be. Recording forever. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm trying to like maybe rent out that spot and then maybe get another one. Yeah. Uh, sure. Open up work. a whole chain of those motherfuckers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You like start four of them bitches. <clears throat> yeah. Like very special, man. You ever seen that studio? Very special studio. Yeah. yeah we're talking about very the other special. Day too, Jason yeah. C. Yeah, they got Not a Jason good. C. They got a good little. I think they have like three or four studios like four. right now. Yeah, I think four or five. Gotta check them out. They got one in NoHo, some Valley, and then they got one in Tarzana. Yeah. I think they and there's some really nice in, studios too. I think they opened up one in Woodland Hills too. Mm-hmm. There's some yeah, very nice still, studios. I mean, I'm 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 so Definitely. lucky to have this shit. I've had a couple of young young cats hit me up and like it's cool to see the young guys like come up and ask me questions and like I want to you know I want to get into this I want to get into engineering I want to learn. You should start doing some shit like that for sure. Like, I mean, I honestly some like I, yeah like. I I mean I should I should like mentor not mentorships but I'm like always open I'm always I'm always a message away Danny underscore Zico you know so if anybody's out there that would like to intern at a studio and learn you know eventually how to record and stuff like that studio etiquette you know in exchange for just like I don't know keeping the black bathroom clean and like grabbing some waters or whatever here and there yeah. then just hit me up you know I'm only a message away and you could learn a lot. Oh, yeah. The best wow. way to the best way to um, learn if you really want to be an engineer just to uh, have a mentor, someone, for sure. who's, someone who's already doing it. You know? Who's somebody like that for you? Who's somebody like that for me? In the engineering space, though. In the engineering Peter? space, <laughs> Peter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, school me on that I've, shit. No, I've. I feel like sometimes I feel like I have impo- You know that imposter syndrome. Like, am I really? Am I, uh, do I really know what the fuck I'm doing, or am I just like no for pretending? Sure. I like, think I think anybody is stupid. Yeah. Like for real, you have like I'm just sometimes I'll be putting a high pass filter on some shit. Like, what is life? Do I really know what I'm doing here? <laughs> what is life, bro? Like, no, nah, but it's really like that. Even like with my job and shit, like I see it as regular, or like you know, like you kind of downplay it as yourself. You think it's just like you're doing the easiest thing, or you're just it's just. You're like, it's not, you're not really doing something as great as what you're actually doing. But then yeah. when you tell somebody, you, like you said, you see these people who are like trying to ask you questions and shit. That's when it really clicks. It's like, oh, I'm really that nigga. You feel yeah, me? Like yeah. they could see I'm that nigga. I'm the only one doubting that maybe like, oh, my pretending is this not real and shit or not. Yeah. How or much just is, not believing it how as much. How much is like too much though is about like feeling like you're him? Like how much is too much? Uh, When it's outward. Well, I feel like when it's. When it's considered like hateful towards like Someone belittling else. towards other people, like if I have to belittle you to be like I'm the shit, then that's when I don't think people like it, you know. 
Yeah. I think if you keep it inward, like just keep it to yourself. But then like, obviously if you have moments where you're just like, want to let it out cool but like like you yeah. said to belittle somebody and bring them down but yeah. mostly i think it should just be inward like you should always be telling yourself like yeah like, i'm that nigga bro yeah you feel me Facts. Okay. yeah you just like, you have to. Like, a, like a self-talk i'm that nigga because i feel like it's easy to talk shit to yourself i'll talk shit to myself about everything i fucking do nigga if i forget <laughs> the bottle water bottle upstairs fucking dumb i was so like I was... Shit. you niggas do that or is it just me you never talk to me? I guess it's just me that... <laughs> like, you, like, forget something, like, the littlest thing, and you just want to beat yourself up about it, like, you're like, like, fucking idiot, bro. Like, but it's, like, uh, it's minuscule, it. but it's still, like... You know what's crazy something. about that? About, like, somebody told me, like, you know, don't... Like, those little thoughts, like, how you talk to yourself, it's very important, like, don't ever... Like yeah, call, your, call you yourself know, an sure. idiot or no, make, for sure. call yourself like, fucking stupid because I I too was like doing that a lot and I yeah. realized I was like oh shit I'm doing that a lot like what yeah, the fuck for sure so I try I try to be nice to me yeah me like, too me too you know? but it still happens yeah, it always happens, it happens. Bro, you you keep, I'm a fucking you idiot that's like, you <laughs> fucking dumbass how do you not know this I think for all of us and I think for a lot of people in the world bro like we have to kind of like. Be easy on ourselves as well. You no, know for me? sure. Like we're fucking human, dog. No, that's and, like, exactly. We're trying to figure it out, and we can't let those little thoughts, you no, know, for sure. dictate who we really are. But yeah. naturally, it happens. I think it's something that you literally, like he said, it that's happens. how I feel too. Like I literally fine. have to tap in and tell myself, like, that's don't do that. Out. Like you're good, bro. Yeah, you fine. forget like, shit. You know, like you go, ever have like something go for where a you're hike like, or something? Yeah, shit, you're good, bro. Like you ever have to go work out? Yeah. You start to get upset or whatever. Like, do you ever like like or something get you upset? Right? Like, have you ever like really try to like just change the channel? Like, you feel me? You yeah. Ever had that happen? Like, for sure. For sure. Like, what, do you mean, like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Change the channel? Like, just change. Like, 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 like something could happen. You know, like a, a hypothetical something could happen. Like, like he said, you he forgot something, and then yeah. now he's fucking feeling some type of way about it's affecting him now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you catch yourself. Catch yourself, yeah, and yeah. just literally like. I'm not like you yeah. really have to put yeah. that or hypothetically that your girl comes, calls you and she's yeah. like you didn't take the trash out motherfucker she's going off of shit and then you're like get off the phone and usually you know that might get to you and you're thinking about it and you're like yeah, yeah. Ugh, I can't believe you got oh this that that but then instead you say nah I have I'm just a gonna the reason enjoy I, have, I mean I have day. a really like bad problem with that shit so I'm just like trying to like figure out like not be so reactive and shit you no, know I think that sure, only like, comes with maturity and no, experience for sure, for sure. you know like because we we. We're so we're emotional creatures, you know. Like so, yeah. I think it comes to just controlling your emotions, and no, it only sure. comes with experience and getting older. For sure, that's honestly the they always say is like the ultimate strength is be able to control your emotions because yeah. a lot of people think it's like, or even in general, like when people want to fight over some dumb shit, nigga barely bumps you, and now you want to fight this nigga for no reason. And shit is like, really, people think that makes you tough, but really that yeah. makes you weak because you could let any situation. Anybody could get you out your situation or out your emotions. For real, learning how to real, yeah. learning how to let let things go and not kill a motherfucker, man. No, exactly. Yeah. For real, that's exactly. a strength. <laughs> that's a strength. Trust, because really, <laughs> I'm speaking for some truth. Because we're kind of we're kind of taught we're kind of taught that that strength. You feel me? Is don't let a nigga. You feel me? Do you sideways? Don't let a nigga look at you wrong. Don't let. We're taught that's weakness. You mean? I could, yeah, I we're taught that's weakness. I could walk yeah. away from a lot of. I mean, like I feel like. They could like bump into me. Well, I don't know. The, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. Purposely, yeah, no. Oh, so it. I think that you would, but depending on the moment, what's going on, you oh, might. A bitch ass nigga came and snapped my picture the other day of license plate and. Just oh, you wanted to charge, beat the nigga. Charge me, my nigga. Hey, but, my I, mean, car. I was upset about it, and I and I did get really mad, and I was I wasn't gonna fight the motherfucker, yeah. but it's like. I, I can see, yeah. I, I mean, you know, yeah. You imagine know, you would have seen that nigga though, and he would have been smiling at you and shit. You'd be like, you little I bitch, see that nigga still. <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> at least, so at least I wanted to get that off. Like, hey, yeah, you wanted to say something to him. But then, what if he would have said, "Fuck you, bitch. You shouldn't have been parked there." Then you would have been squabbling. You bro, feel me? I don't bro. know why I thought of this right now, but there's one time where there was a, a I want to court for some shit. And this judge, she gave me ten days jail time. Oh my! You're like, what and the I fuck? Did two days, and like it was with nothing. Like it was, yeah. but but I remember her face. I remember exactly her face, right? Because it was like, like a memorable. It was a memorable thing. I had never jail. gone to jail, right? I remember mm. her face. Then when I, I came out, and it was like a few months after. I seen her at Target in my neighborhood. Oh. And she, the her, the I would never want to be a judge. She froze up. Because no, because. I don't know if she know. I don't even think she recognized. I think just think she herself is so paranoid of, who she of, might of see? like who she of like that. Who, yeah, who she might encounter. Or yeah. Like you know, maybe she has like a guilty. I don't know. I don't know. But like the her look was just like oh, 
Like she's very mm. like, I need to get the fuck out. I need to get what uh, I need to get. I need to get the fuck out of here. Paranoid, very all paranoid. Over. Yeah. All over. And I was like, man, that's that judge that fucking gave me ten that's days. Crazy. I wanted to say hi, like, hey, how you doing? Like, I only did two. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I cleared my shit. Thank you. Uh, thanks for treating me like an animal for ten <laughs> days. You ever seen the guys that like they'll be right there and they'll be like, oh, you're getting two weeks, and they'll be like, they might smack their lips or like. Make a face and like you know what it's a month and then they're like are you serious and then it's like six months damn Seriously, that shit? no yeah they be getting no, no. mad they really like, do they, I mean you really gotta give the ultimate up. respect to a judge in a courtroom no for sure uh, unless you want up. more time like yeah you know like pretty up. much it's, you, know, you it's want like the minimum you want the maximum chess not checkers bitch <laughs> <For sure>. <laughs> <laughs> thank you ma'am it's a pleasure for you to take the time out of your day to come see me. I'm sorry for wasting everybody's like time halo. here. Is he like a halo <laughs> above him? <laughs> I tell my lawyer to hold the light over. He's like, I need some mechanical wings and shit. We got the a lawyer's like, you got a ring shit. light. You got a ring. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> Everyone here is time, and I'm sorry for wasting it. Oh no, I'll do better. But yeah, man, you got the anime eyes. <laughs> ah, for real, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm done with everything. For sure, like, man. But <laughs> once again, man, I appreciate you for pulling up, Danny Zico. Uh, yeah, this is a great episode. Funny laughs. I'm sure we'll have you again, man. Yeah, man. I'll tell you, I gotta go, man. No, yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put me. He's, he's about to walk on like like ESG. He's huh? been he's been a big supporter of the pod. Anybody who's been watching the pod knows we talked about this nigga a lot. If we've yeah. had 47 episodes. We probably talked to him about him like 30 of them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um. So shout out Danny Zico for pulling up once again. Go check out. Would you still love me? Yes, Would you sir. still L U V me? Yes, sir. You feel me by Danny Zico? Go check out that Getting Old. Probably my favorite song. He yeah. dr- just dropped the video too. Just check so out the whole catalog. Me. Danny you Zico. Feel me? Check out everything. Yeah, you feel me? But once again, it's your boy Kane's World. For peace sake. Peace. Peace.